we're back for another Quick Tip Tuesday. Today we're talking about a setting that's going to help any footage that you have that is speed ramped or maybe stabilized or maybe you're just changing the speed on it for whatever reason. It's going to help it make it look better. So let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and I'm going to show you what that setting is, how to use it on both a clip level and a project level. And I also want to tell you about one problem you might run into when you're using it. So let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and check it out. All right, here we are in DaVinci Resolve. I've got a project open for a client that I've been working on and a lot of the clips in this timeline I've speed ramped and changed the speed to just to help the overall video look a little more interesting. A lot of it's drone footage, some of it's ground footage, mixed it all together and came out with a pretty cool video. But in order to get the smoothest footage while I'm speed ramping and changing speed of the various clips, there's one setting that you wanna change. Now you can change this on a clip by clip basis or you can change it on a project level. So first to change it clip by clip, you can just select your clip Come and open your inspector. And if you come down to retime and scaling and open that up, you can double click on that. And you notice that all these are set to the project settings. Well, here's where you can change it clip by clip if you want. You come to retime process here, click on project settings, you can come down to optical flow. And that's gonna give you the best result for any kind of speed changes or motion changes like stabilization and things like that uh, on your clip. So you can pick optical flow. So if it's only one clip or a few clips you wanna do this on, Right here is a good way to do that. The default for at least my projects, and I'm assuming it's the same for yours, is nearest. The next option here is motion estimation. And again, the default for most projects, at least my projects, is always standard faster. But if you come all the way down to speed warp, that's going to give you the best result. But remember, changing these things is also going to slow down your machine. So let's take a look how we can set these on the project level real quick. Come down to your project settings icon down here, the lower right. Go ahead and click that. And we're under master settings. And if you just scroll to the bottom here, you have a section called frame interpolation and you see the retime process here and mode estimation. So what I like to do is when I'm working on a project, I'm going to most of the time put these on the settings that's going to make it easiest for my computer, which is nearest for the retime process. And for motion estimation, I'm going to use standard faster. But when I go to export my project, I actually want to use the best quality settings that I can because I don't care how long it takes when I export my project. So I'll come in here before I'm gonna export the project and I'll go to optical flow. And here I'll usually do enhanced better because you don't actually don't have the speed warp option here under motion estimation on a project level. Speed warp is only for settings for a specific clip. So I could use enhanced better here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and save it. So like I said, before I export the project, I'm gonna go ahead into the project settings and turn those two items on on a project level so that all the clips are affected by those settings. But where I ran into a problem was when I went back to re-edit the project and I opened up DaVinci Resolve, everything was super sluggish and slow. And part of it is because I got a 2015 computer here. It's a little bit older. And I was like, what is going on? I checked all my settings. I'm like, oh man, is my computer, you know, going shy? Do it, something wrong with DaVinci Resolve? What's going on? Because usually I can play through my timeline with no problems. Well, eventually I went through my settings and found that I had left those retime settings turned to the highest quality, which for me on my MacBook Pro here, it's being a little older, it just didn't work out good. So I had to change those settings back to the uh, lowest quality settings, which are actually still pretty good. Most of the time I just use them as it is, but I had to change those settings back and then I was able to scrub through my timeline, no stuttery, no uh, jittery stuff going on there in my timeline. So keep that in mind. If you turn them on and you don't have a powerful computer, it's gonna slow things down. So maybe wait until you're done with your project to turn on those settings before you export. So I hope this tip helped you out. If it was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more Quick Tip Tuesday videos like this. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh, and don't forget if you wanna support the channel, we got some merch. And also I'm gonna have a new updated crash course coming out for beginners. Gonna have a lot of good info in there. So uh, stay tuned for that.